people don't realize um, how much technology there is in a car. I mean, the computing processor in the car is four to five times greater than even the most sophisticated smartphone. You know, we have to devo uh, deliver this technology in an environment that's harsh in terms of temperature, vibration, um, all of these things. And so uh, it, it's really amazing, you know, the lines of code that we produce and the, and the processing power in a vehicle is, is incredible. And people kind of think of Detroit as old and stodgy, and it's really just the opposite. In the car itself, we've been replacing the mechanical functions with electronic functions and software. You know, slowly over time, you think about systems like ABS brakes. Right, and all of the uh, sensing systems that we now have uh, on the car, right, lane uh, change, departure warning, et cetera, yeah. with lasers and cameras and, and software. The amount of software that's uh, in the car has been transitioning, powertrain control module is an example, right, um, has been transitioning very steadily over time. And what's happened is, in addition to that now, you know, with our desire to bring in services and content and data from outside of the vehicle, the combination of those two have really moved us to a very heavily oriented software uh, and electrical engineering company. Correct. Well, it's important for a number of reasons, uh, right? First of all, uh, for safety, mm -hmm. and everything we do is safety oriented. We look at what people uh, are doing in the car, um, and we make it safer. So we had the most sophisticated hands-free cellular calling technology in sync that we launched in 2007. And we saw that people were you know, using their mobile phones and trying to look up their contacts. And it's not just the hands-free cellular calling uh, feature, but the features themselves were by far the most sophisticated in the, uh, in the industry, and people haven't caught up to them yet. Um, things like Bluetooth streaming, things like automatic uh, transfer from your phone to your car when you walk in, automatic download of the contact list. Then we saw the same thing with MP3 players, where people were plugging in their iPods to the aux input jack. Mm -hmm. We said, let's voice control that. You know, through our traffic directions and information services, um, we said you no longer have to print out maps from Google and MapQuest and read those while you're driving. Instead, let's provide, you know, a, a verbally based or audio based directions so you can keep your hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. And uh, if you saw the list of our partners, you know, we're working with Microsoft and uh, Google Android and Apple uh, on, a, on a weekly basis. And, and so one of the things we realize, right, is, is it takes a couple of things. One, it takes a great UI. If you look at the iPad, what made that successful or what made the iPhone successful? Mm -hmm. uh, every feature on the original iPhone was available in another phone, right? right? Um, but it, they just delivered it in a way that was compelling, and that's what we've tried to do with my Ford Touch. Good. With the 8-inch touch screens, with the LCD screens, with the five-way controllers, with a voice engine that has over 10,000 first-level commands, you know, we need to be a great user interface for our customers and one that's safe as well. Good. So that's number one. And number two, we want to be a, an affordable gateway to allow you to access, you know, data, content, and services that you have other places, on your phone, uh, on the internet, right? Because those, those engines and those companies are investing in that content much faster than we can. And so what we view ourselves as a pipe, a smart pipe that delivers that to a great UI. Okay. What that does is keep the cost for our customer much lower than any of our competitors. Because we use the cell phone that you bring into the vehicle and we pipe data through that. We don't bolt a, f a phone into the car. We don't have to charge you an incremental monthly service fee. So as an example, our 911 assist, our emergency of service, mm -hmm. um, is free for the life of the vehicle. Our competitors charge as much as $199 a year for that. Our traffic directions and information services, which is a, a connection to cloud-based services where you can say, find me the closest Panera Bread, um, you know, uh, find a business, traffic to work, traffic to home, um, and have directions sent to your car is free for the first three years of vehicle ownership. Our competitors, again, charge hundreds of dollars a year for that kind of service.